Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. You can find some of those in the video shorts as well, including long form. But I want to thank all of you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. We start things off from the hill. 40% of U.S. climate emissions attributed to richest households study. Oh boy. The wealthiest tenth of U.S. households are the source of 40% of national greenhouse gas emissions, according to research published in the journal PLOS Climate. Researchers led by Jared Starr of the University of Massachusetts Amherst analyzed three decades of household income data from 1920 to 2019. They found that during this period, the bottom 90% of households' share of emissions has fallen, while the top 10%'s share has increased. The wealthiest 1% of households were responsible for between 15% and 17% of emissions. Not surprising, as individuals like Al Gore and, of course, uh, John Effing Carey, flying around in their corporate jets, among many of the other climate militant-type activist sorts, fly around not realizing that they are contributing the most to uh, the their their climate change ideology philosophy worldview. Now, I'm not suggesting that we aren't affecting the atmosphere or our environment by our actions. I'm just simply saying that whatever these types of – there has never been a consensus, right? There's never been a peer group study that I've ever seen that has concluded that there is a significant amount of this to be uh, – an alarming element as much as it is a political leveraging point because as you know china is one of the biggest contributors to this and very little is ever said to them much less from greta thunberg report chinese emissions exceed all developed nations combined that's absolutely right the research by rodman group says china admitted 27 percent of the world's greenhouse gases in 2019 the U.S. was the second largest emitter at 11%, while India was third with 6.6% of emissions, the think tank said. So, ladies and gentlemen, I find it fascinating that the wealthiest who have always been talking about climate change, many of the wealthiest when they go to various uh, organizations and groups around the world and talk about climate and these things, are, of course, are flying around in their jets like Davos when they go there and uh, – it's just amazing, is it not, that here we are all these years later. And if you guys haven't already, just curiously, uh, often you see the picture of Plymouth Rock suggesting that uh, it is misrepresented to dispute rising sea levels. Because people often say, well, see here, Plymouth Rock has been here for over 400 years, and there's no rising sea level. So they're just kind of trying to debunk it here on um, AP, a photo of Plymouth Rock sitting in a small amount of water. Proves that sea levels have not risen significantly over the last 402 years due to climate change. AP's assessment, false. It says Plymouth Rock has no, has not remained in its original location over the centuries, and the sea level rise has been well documented in the surrounding region. Really, I've not seen any data on that except myself. Experts say, of course, experts say a lot, especially during the pandemic, and they got a lot of right, or they got a lot of that wrong. So um, you don't see it here a lot about that. In addition, the photo also does not take a regular tidal fluctuations. Well, of course, regular fluctuations is just like climate, right? It's just like weather. Weather changes. Situations changes. The climate and or the environment on the earth is constantly changing and has. We've had ice ages before, too. So it's just kind of interesting. I've never really jumped on the whole climate thing. You know, I'm obviously a conservative, but I'm also a conservationist, so I believe in being responsible. I mean, that's part of what uh, I was doing as a Boy Scout. You know, you learn just the basics of taking care of your environment. Personal responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, and not uh, messing up your own environment, messing up your own home. But uh, I just, just wanted to stop by and check in and see how climate change and what the latest news is. It's interesting that they're going after the rich now, which I find kind of fascinating. You guys have to let me down in the comments what your particular thoughts are on climate change or global warming. Of course, they changed it from global warming to climate change because, of course, uh, there is no consensus. There is no peer group studies that I have read where there's a, a consensus among scientists that this is uh, some extreme danger that we're facing now of course it's important to be responsible for the environment and if we continue in certain directions like with china for example 
you know, obviously this is going to impact our environment when you're introducing, uh, uh, you know, just fluorocarbons and other things into the environment. But China is probably one of the biggest polluters for sure. But nonetheless, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And that's what I had for you this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. And, of course, below this video, you can find my Amazon influencer links. So if you're a regular user of Prime and or order frequently from Amazon, be sure to use those links as those help out the channel. And all of you on New Tech as well as here on YouTube, you guys have been amazing. Thank you for all of your support. Appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon you guys can click on to subscribe as well as to select notifications. And I'll see all you guys right there behind the Galaxy phone camera next week.